Hi guys, it's Alexis. And Christian from Tiny House Expedition. And we're here with another Tiny Stuff review of the GrowWatt 1500. It's yet another brand new model out on the market. Mm -hmm. And I think what I like about all the competition of all these new stations that are available. There's a lot of competition. <laughs> is the innovation. Yeah, totally, yeah. And for the Infinity 1500, its inverter is one of a kind in the power station market. You can choose what size inverter you want to use to save both power and to lower the cooling fan noise. We'll get more into that later. Mm -hmm. And what I think is impressive about this little guy is that it is a 1500 watt hour capacity with a 2000 watt inverter. And the amazing thing is that it's in a really small light package. Yeah, it's 36 and a half pounds, which you might be thinking that sounds heavy, but no. in the world of power stations, especially of this capacity, it's light. It's super light. <laughs> With so many portable power station options, it could be really difficult to figure out which one is right for you. Uh, we hope we can help you with that. Yeah, so that's let's... what this is about. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's break it down. All right. Choosing the right size power station for your needs can be really difficult. Looking at all the websites, the tech specs are kind of all over the place. Yeah, it's easy to get lost in the numbers. Mm -hmm. You need to know what appliances and devices you want to power and how much electricity they use. This is gonna help determine what wattage and watt hour capacity is best for you in a power station. And that totally makes sense to me. It's what do you want to power and how much battery capacity do you have, so. Yeah. It's um, just math, it's the hard part. <laughs> I am not good at math. I'm not good at math either. So I think what really helps or what helped me is to get a better understanding of what watts mean mm. and what watt hours mean because it seems interchangeable, but they're different. In a nutshell, a watt hour is a unit of energy equal to one watt of power sustained for one hour. When talking about appliances, a watt hour is used to convey how much power they use in an hour. That makes watt, sense. Watt right? hour, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> and when we're talking about an inverter, we're like a 2000 watt inverter, we're talking about the power it can output at that amount. So at 2000 watt can be 2000 watts of power. And a quality inverter should be able to put out 50 to 75% more for, for the peak uh, surge. And so this is a 2000 watt inverter, but has a 4000 watt peak surge. So because when you plug in a lot of appliances and devices, yeah, they, they have this it peak spikes. in the, yeah, it spikes, the power spikes. <laughs> like, and air conditioning is like the worst thing. When you, turn, when you turn one on, it will spike as far as it possibly can. So to determine if the Infinity 1500 power station is right for you, you wanna think about how do you plan to use it? Do you wanna take it on a camping trip? Mm -hmm. Do you wanna use it for supplemental off-grid power around the homestead? Or do you want it for backup power in emergencies? All good questions. And GrowWatt claims that the Infinity 1500 can power 95% of your appliances and outdoor devices like our outdoor LED lights. But just because it can power something doesn't mean it can power it all day. That makes total sense. So you, you want to plan for that. Um, let's take a laptop, for example. You may want to be able to power a laptop wherever you go. We certainly do. Yeah, oh yeah, we use it a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Especially now that snowboard season is upon us and we're gonna need to run our YouTube channel from the slope sometimes. Uh -huh. So this might be us on a Friday morning. So you're gonna wanna know what your laptop's wattage is, then calculate the watt hours to measure how much electricity it uses per hour. There's a bunch of different ways to figure out your watt hours. And the one I like to use is an online calculator. And you can also use an electricity usage monitor where you can plug things in to actually monitor in real time how much electricity they're using. The power rating or wattage of my MacBook Air is about 30 watts. If I were to use it for 24 hours straight, that would come to about 720 watt hours. So with the Infinity 1500's 1500 watt hours, I could easily power that for at least 48 hours straight. Of course, no one's gonna use their laptop like that, or at least I hope not. <laughs> but you're gonna to wanna to consider your total watt hours for all the different things you wanna use and for how long. Because if you plug in the laptop and some other stuff, mm -hmm you know, the power station isn't gonna last as long. 
The power capacity of the Infiniti 1500 is on the higher end of the portable power stations, but one of the cool things you can also do with this is you can daisy chain up to three of them together. Wow, so that would triple your capacity. Mm -hmm. The Infiniti 1500 has 12 different outlets, and it has four AC outlets on this one side with a cigarette lighter power port on this side also. And on the front, it has all the various kinds of USB ports that we've come to get used to in this modern world. Yep. Two USB A's, two fast charge USB A's, and two USB C's. It's also got the buttons on the front that turn, you have to turn on each side. So if you want to use the AC side, you got to turn the button on. If you want to use the DC, you got to turn the button on. Oh, and it also has one of those fancy wireless touchpad yeah. phone chargers. Uh-huh, on the top of it, <laughs> which is super cool. We gotta get the connector for our phone to do that. Yeah, totally. <laughs> and on this side, we have the input ports for charging, whether you do AC charging or solar or car charging. I already have a little bit of a gripe with this, with this thing, is this little door. <laughs> Um, because we had another power station that also had this little door and I broke it off the first day. <laughs> so. Maybe you just don't know how strong you are. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's not it. <laughs> <laughs> the Infinity 1500 has a really impressive fast recharge capability. You can charge it all the way to 80% in just one hour and to 102 hours. It has a max AC input of 1500 watts. And if you listen closely, you can probably hear the fan. It's not the quietest, but it's not too bad if you don't mind a little white noise in the background. You can also fully recharge the Infinity with solar and it takes up to 800 watts, which is on the high end for portable power stations. And because it has universal connectors, you can use the grow watt folding solar panels or pretty much any other solar panel. And if you max out the solar input, you can fully recharge this in just two and a half hours, which is pretty fast for solar charging. Oh, and the third way you can recharge it is in a car. So if you're going on a long road trip, you can plug this into your, you know, those little cigarette lighter port, but it will take 13 and a half hours. So probably only recommended for really long drives. Like I mentioned in the beginning, the Infinity 1500 has something super interesting with the inverter you can actually change the um, watt, wattage of it. You can choose 2000, 1800, or 1500 watts. And why would you wanna do this? Exactly, why? Why? <laughs> well, um, if you don't need the full 2000 watts, you can save power by using a lower setting. Mm -hmm. And also, it changes the fan noise. But something to keep in mind is that when you shut the whole power station down, and turn it back on, it will reset all of your settings. So the mm. setting for the inverter will go back to 2000 watts. Oh, and related to this, um, GrowWatt gives you the ability to change your charge speed. Mm -hmm. So you could do slow, normal, or fast. So of course, if you do fast, that's the fastest way to recharge, uh, whether you're using solar or AC. And low, obviously, will do it much slower. Mm -hmm. And there's a, a good reason I, to use that function. And I could see if you were on someone else's like solar system mm. that isn't that isn't ha that doesn't have a lot of power, um, setting it to low would help charge this at more of a consistent rate as opposed to like popping their breakers because the fast charge is is too much for it to handle. That's a really great point. Mm -hmm. The the other thing about it is it affects how loud it is. The fan noise at on the fast mode, I didn't think it was that loud. No, I don't. I mean, we sleep with the fan at night, so yeah. it was about the level of a fan. Yeah, maybe a little less. So, um, so it, it didn't bother me at all. So for that reason, it's like, I wouldn't, I don't think I would go to low just for, for quieter sound. Yeah, no, I think that's kind of silly. So one thing I really like about the Infinity 1500 is that you can control it with an app, a smart app. Um, you can connect via Bluetooth or Wi-Fi. Mm -hmm. It's nice to have the option. One thing is interesting though, is it's not a touch screen on the actual unit. Mm -hmm. So you actually have yeah. to use the app to change those settings we were just talking about. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So this whole screen, it's not 
touchable. It, <laughs> you can't touch it at all. So, um, so everything, pretty much everything you're going to want to do to this to change a mode or something is through the app. And I, I wish you could at least do a handful of stuff on the screen or with another button or something. You could reconnect the Wi-Fi. That's about it. I agree. I mean, the app is super easy to use, and with Bluetooth, you know, you don't have to rely on internet connectivity. Right. But I, I'm kind of with you. It'd be nice to do both. Right. But you can still plug stuff in and, you know, turn the AC and DC on. So if it's not an option that you really, you know, absolutely need, you don't have to use the app. With the app, you can monitor your power usage and you can also control functions like turning on and off the DC power and the AC power. So of course it will tell you how long it will take to fully recharge, which is handy to know. But I really like that it will tell you how long it's gonna run for. So say you have a few things plugged in, it's gonna tell you, okay, I can run for 99 hours with the things that you have plugged in. The Infinity 1500 is a kind of lithium ion battery. It's an NMC, which means we'll put it on the screen. <laughs> Whatever it says right here. <laughs> and that's different than the LifePo 4 battery. Um, both those kinds are very safe, high quality kinds of batteries, but there are a couple key differences. One is the NMC is much lighter. It's really light. It's like almost half the weight of a comparable LifePo 4 battery. That's crazy. But, and a big but, is a LifePo 4 battery has a much longer lifespan where an NMC is less than half the lifespan. Yeah. So the lifespan of, of, of a power station is basically zero, going all the way down to zero, back all the way up to 100%, and then all the way back down to zero. That's the life. Mm -hmm. yeah. And commonly you'll hear that something has like 800 life cycles up to 80%, which is what the Infinity 1500 mm -hmm. means. And that means after 800 life cycles, it's only going to charge to 80%. Is that right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so when you use a power station, you don't want to have to worry about safety. And that's definitely not a concern with the Infinity 1500 because it has an industry leading battery management system. A BMS is often considered the brains of a battery pack because it manages the battery's safe operation, overall performance and longevity. It also protects the devices that are plugged into the power station. So that BMS will monitor every one of the cells of the, of the whole power station to keep track of what's going on. And if something happens, if one of the cells has a weird overload or undercharge or something like that, it'll shut the whole thing down. Another safety feature this has is called a UPS. So if you have this charging uh, from a wall socket, and then you also have something like your computer or a television plugged into this. If the power goes out, this will keep running and keep running your devices. So the idea is to prevent any damage. Right. Now, of course, you kind of have to anticipate this situation right. for it to really be effective. But nonetheless, it's a good feature. Yeah. So you might be wondering how much the Infinity 1500 is going to set you back. I was just thinking that. <laughs> Well, it costs about 1600 bucks, which is on par with competitors. Totally on par. It, you know, it's about a buck a watt. It's and, pretty and solid. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's even less expensive than some models that are out there. Mm -hmm. So overall, I think the Infinity 1500 is really well-rounded portable power station. It's got a large capacity, mm -hmm. very small and lightweight, mm -hmm. um, and some cool features. Yeah, being small and lightweight, to be this much power is amazing. Mm -hmm. uh, but there are a handful of things that we don't like. I definitely don't like this little <laughs> floppy door that's on the side <laughs> uh, because again, I'm probably gonna break it off within the next couple days. Mm -hmm. um, also, not having a touch screen mm -hmm. um, kind of makes me a little crazy. Yeah, one thing that bothers me more than the touch screen part of it is that it will turn off like it's in use and the screen will just turn off. And yeah. the only way to get the screen to turn back on yeah. that we've seen is to turn it off and turn it back on. Yeah, it's off right now. The screen's off right now. Yep. So that's kind of frustrating. So then you really are completely reliant on your app to know what's going on. Yeah. Which at the same time is not the biggest deal. If you're living in a van, this is under the bed. 
you're going to use the app all the time anyway. So fair point. Yeah. Um, I do really like the carrying handles, yeah. which um, I find that some power stations, they're so close to the unit that it's kind of hard to get your hand in. Yeah. And this is super easy to grip. Yeah. Yeah. You're totally right. That is the, that is, these are the best handles I've seen on one. Lastly, I really like that the Infinity 1500 has a two year warranty. Yeah. That's a super long time. Yeah. Especially in the portable power station world. Mm -hmm. Well, so what do you think about this bad boy? Would it meet your needs? Mm -hmm. Let us know in the comments below. Thank you for watching our video and for stopping by Tiny House Expedition. I'm Alexis. And I'm Christian. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And for more tiny home tours and stories, click the videos below. And join us on Instagram for bonus content. Including face-to-face -face conversations with us. <laughs> we hope to see you there. All right. Thanks, guys. Have a good one.